Hello from the Sydney Swans and this week we take on the Adelaide Crows at the SCG in a Friday night blockbuster. A final quarter fight back wasn't enough to get the Swans over the line against the Western Bulldogs in round one at Marvel Stadium, but the match did see young gun Nick Blakey make his AFL debut, while Isaac Heaney picked up where he left off. After claiming the AFL's Mark of the Year in 2018, his first touch of 2019 produced another contender. Short, they maintain possession to Jones. Kennedy ran into a bit of trouble, pops it out the back. Heaney! You can vote for Heaney's high-flying grab by heading to the AFL's Mark of the Year website. After reviewing the round one clash, coach John Longmire said the team would work on maintaining intensity. So, I mean, we have to be better at it for longer. Um, uh, there's no uh, tricks in this game. You, if you're not, you haven't got that ball in your hand, it's very hard to convert that in opportunities and, and the opposition are going to convert that in opportunities more than you. So that's what stood out to us uh, and that's what we need to be better at. On the injury front, the Swans got through round one without any injuries, but Daniel Menzel has suffered a setback. The off-season recruit tweaked his groin at training, so he won't be able to run out in red and white for at least another month. Both Kieran Jack and Tom McCartan turned out for the Neeful practice match on Saturday and made it through unscathed. They will play again in the Neeful this weekend, with eyes set for selection in round three. And more than 1,000 supporters turned out at Sunday's Sydney Swans Melbourne Fan Day, presented by Volkswagen. Star forward Sam Reid says it was a great chance to connect with Melbourne supporters. They're very passionate fans down here in Melbourne, and every time we come to uh, these days they show up in big numbers and, and it's great to see that sort of support uh, outside of Sydney and we enjoy it every time. And make sure you're in the stands when we take on the Crows here at the SCG on Friday night. Membership and tickets are still available so just follow the links from the Swans website and we'll see you at the game.